hand of my righteousness I'm going to hold you up and if one finger was all it took to throw him out of heaven I got four fingers I've got five fingers wrapped around me saying you shall not prevail the gates of hell shall not prevail the plan shall not prevail your business shall not prevail divorce shall not prevail cancer shall not prevail poverty shall not prevail sin shall not prevail lust shall not prevail depression shall not prevail bitterness shall not prevail lying shall not prevail anger shall not prevail addiction shall not prevail pornography shall not prevail the gates of hell shall not prevail oh somebody clap your hands I know you're tired but I feel like I just feel like giving God some praise he was cursed in the garden of Eden that the heel of the seed of the woman would step on his head as a serpent. Do you know that's why the devil is the author of abortion? And that's why the enemy is the author of trying to destroy the lives of children and the life of moral godly women because he is against the seed of the woman because every time a child is born in that child there is the authority to put his heel upon the head of the devil and say I'm the head and not the tail. Satan the blood of Jesus is against you and I'm putting you under my feet. Hallelujah. So he's trying to wipe out the seed of the woman because it was by a seed of a woman whose name was Jesus Christ that the authority came that once and for all to bind him and cast him for eternity in a bottomless pit the seed of a woman he was defeated by Jesus in the wilderness I preached it to you today it is written you need to study that You need to study that he attacked Jesus on his ego. He attacked him on his abilities. And he attacked him on his appetites. The enemy will always come against you trying to get you to do things before your season. He'll always try to attack your ego and lift you up with pride or he'll attack your lust and your appetites. And every time they come against him, Jesus would turn it around and say, it is written. When you learn to use the word against the method that hell brings against you, you will have victory. You need to leave here today and say, what are the areas that keep hindering me from living for God? How do I fall? Is it my anger? Is it my bitterness? Is it unforgiveness? Is it lust is it pride is it pornography is it adultery is it hatred you find it you find the answer to that in the word you submit yourself to the word of God and learn to pray that it'll drive the devil crazy and victory will come in your life well glory to God he was judged at the cross John 12 31 he is to be confined in the abyss during the millennial reign for a thousand years he's going to be cast in a bottomless pit I'll say it again Satan has fallen and he can't get up can you imagine for a thousand years there's no bottom he's going to keep falling just to prove to him how low he can go and then God's going to raise us up and resurrect us in the moment in the twinkling of an eye he's going to exalt his bride and debase his enemy at the same time he's a defeated foe He will ultimately be consigned then to the lake of fire, Revelation 20. Jesus Christ is the victor. You've got to believe that right now. If you think that Jesus is struggling, if you think the church is struggling, oh, Brother Sewer, we're fighting spiritual warfare. I don't know if we're going to make it. Are you crazy? We've already made it. We already, I've read the back of the book, baby. We're the winners. I've already read this thing. Ah, We are more than conquerors. We are more than victors. We're not just winners. We're more than conquerors. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You've got to believe that. And much of what we call spiritual warfare is out of whack priorities. Number one, Satan is strategizing your destruction. First Peter 5 and 8. Be well balanced, temperate. I wish I could preach this. Say, be well balanced, temperate, sober minded, serious, watchful. Say, vigilant and cautious at all times. Say, that's dealing with the balance of the real world. It's what I've taught you the last two sessions. If you are not well balanced, temperate, sober minded, vigilant, and cautious, don't tell me that you're going to get victory fighting the devil. 
You got to be that before you get into the warfare. You need to learn to be temperate and balanced in all things before you ever step. Remember what I told you all ago? Feelings, finances, people. You need to focus on dealing with your emotions, your finances, and dealing with other people before you get into the spiritual fight. Because that enemy of you, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion in fierce hunger, seeking someone that he may seize upon and devour. Withstand him, be strong in faith against his onset, rooted, established, strong, immovable, steadfast fast that's the amplified version it goes back to standing resist the devil and he'll flee from you I'll read that again withstand him be strong in the faith against him what's the faith the word of God rooted established strong immovable and steadfast I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind sometimes the most spiritual people I know are the people that know the most word And they may not be the most emotional, but if you're rooted and established in the word of God, hell won't be able to move you and defeat you. John 10, 10, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I taught you that this week. You already already know it. He's come to do what? To steal your what? My joy. He's come to steal my joy, not happiness, but joy. We sing a song, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. The world can't take it away. There's a difference between happiness and joy. I am, my heart is breaking today that my grandmother is dying. She may have already passed away. They didn't expect her to live through the day. My grandmother is dying at the same time I have Holy Ghost joy. My father died instantly at the age of 59 this year. And my mother, when I told her my father was dead, she would go down weeping and oh, and then she would come up talking in tongues and raise her hands. She'd go down, oh, then she'd had come up weeping and talking in tongues because we were sad and devastated and at the same time the joy of the Lord was our strength explain that you can't explain it because it's not human it's spiritual it's not man it's not it's God this joy that I have the world can't understand it it's not logical it's from heaven hallelujah and it's my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength it's nothing to do with my feelings it has to do with my faith B, he wants to kill my faith. I told you that faith comes by hearing. It comes through the priest's word. It comes through the fellowship of the believers. And it comes by the study of the private word of God. C, destroy my destiny. This is what I talked to you about, the spirit of Jezebel. You should already understand that. Steal my joy. Kill my faith. Destroy my destiny. The spirit of Jezebel. The enemy, the Jezebel is what? She is the enemy of all things prophetic. Another word for prophetic is what? Did you, did I miss it? Did you learn it? Tell me. Destiny. Another word for prophetic is destiny. If you have a destiny, it means you have a future. The word to prophesy means to foretell. So if you have a future, you have a prophetic anointing. If you have a future, you have a destiny. The spirit of Jezebel only attacks people that have a future. What does she do? She tries to run you down, run you out, and run you crazy. We should have learned that this week. She tries to run you down, run you. Who's been fighting Jezebel around here? You have felt that. If you have fought a spirit of hell that's attacking your future it ought to make you so excited when the enemy begins to attack my future sometimes I just break out laughing because I realize by him attacking me he's confirming that God's going to do something in my life the enemy wouldn't be fighting you if God wasn't about to do something with you and through you I get nervous when the devil doesn't mess with me Because the more the enemy's messing, God's blessing. And I get excited. Hallelujah. Praise him for it. Praise him for it. Praise him for it. Hallelujah. Right now, if he's messing with you, you ought to get happy about it. You ought to rejoice about it. It's a confirmation that God's up to something in your life. God's up to something in your ministry. Now, Satan's network. I'm going to deal with Satan's network. If you're going to understand, we're not ignorant concerning this. We're understanding we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So there's a network. 2 Corinthians 4, 4, Ephesians 2, 2, a network. A is principalities. There are principalities. This is satanic government. Now, I don't know what you've been taught here. I know Brother Stone King believes this. Many of our prophets uh, and our older elders teach that there, Brother Barnes teaches there are seven, say seven, satanic seats in the world because you need to understand that God is omnipotent omniscient 
and omnipresent. God is all powerful, all knowing, and he's all 